Hello everyone, and welcome to a Bootstrap uh, view tutorial. I'm going to show you how you can create this type of table using um, view Bootstrap or Bootstrap view components. So we go to table component and we choose one of these um, layouts, um, and then you just add the buttons or editable buttons here. Mm, what we do is just going here, choose one of these, and then just copy paste the code. Everything is uh, prepared for you. Just you need to copy paste and um, like customize some of the parts if you want. So uh, we go ahead and like co copy this part. Um, uh, I'll, I don't know. I'll give it just a second until this part. We copy this and then we add it. I have this uh, prepared. Uh, Part, uh, prepared view just added a new view to the project that I was working with um, and then uh, now we just edit the whole thing um, so option command dot to correct the indentation thing oh my god this indentation part is really annoying but um, uh, fix all auto fixable problems so you fix everything and then it works so we copy pasted everything and now we go to the front end to see how it looks like this one is the rock one which is ready so um but this one is the one that i'm editing right now it looks similar to this one so what we do is just go and customize it first of all this red thing is really annoying so i go here see this one variant danger i remove that one because i want everything to look the same but if you don't want to remove it just don't but also this one um yeah now you see the red lines are removed and what what else do we do so basically i should explain everything to you so in the fields what you do is you tell the front end which part of the items that you have will be printed so for instance if you have like items in your database some sort of objects that i don't know it can be in our case it's like transport meals and users uh, you don't want to like reveal the IDs of the users, so um, that's where like the field um, comes in action. So you just choose which which fields you wanna um, show. Um, basically, items. If you have connected to the database, then items should be a blank like this. So nothing will be inside it. Um, so like this you will see here nothing is here but you have just those lines there and the fields i i want um, because the database that i'm working on have these fields so i copy paste the fields that i have not that part but um just these two for now um yeah i get rid of all these and then i just paste these two so uh, now you'll see we have two fields, but I want to add like these two other uh, fields, uh, edit and delete. So we go here and then we put comma and then we copy one of these and paste it like twice. Uh, and then we need a comma here. So this one will be called edit um, like this. And then this one will be called delete they shouldn't be sortable we don't want them to be sortable but we want um, them to have like a label um, called edit like this um, oh it should be similar to this with I mean I don't know why there is yeah this one shouldn't be um, yeah, I, I like copy pasting in the front and it's just simple. <laughs> why, why bother typing everything? So yeah, like this. And then now you will see that you have this, not this one, this one. We have edit, we have uh, delete as well. But you see you can't read the, uh, what's called? The labels because the background is sort of green. Just don't ask me why, but it's just green. A green. So we go ahead here, table. And we add a class to um, tell it which color we want to have. So in the class, we will have like um, the option for text, which text the color will have. 
hit text black and then we want to have um, background some other color I want to have white but because the background is green so it should be white so it looks cooler um, I always like that simple layout so we have green and we have this thing here um, yeah uh, well what else did we want to change so we have this these fields we have edit we have delete um, and now we are gonna connect it to the database so that we see the values that we have in our database how we are gonna do it in the export you might have already like connected your um, fields to the database so I'm gonna just Copy paste this one from this one from this uh, other um, uh, view that I have prepared. So I copy paste everything to save the time, but I, I kind of explain it to you how it works. So we have this indentation. Yeah, we need the API to insert the API, of course. So we say import um, slash uh, no bracket API. So we, okay, it's better to have space on there, and then we have, oh, that should be inside the script, of course. Um, from, okay, my bad. So you have at slash API. What the hell? Okay, like this, and now we cut it and put it all up here. Yes. Um, so now we have uh, connected the database. You see the terminal is some some things are happening happening there. What we see is API .git, the git method, and then here we have the route, whatever router you have, like somewhere here in the backend, um, and then these things are just happening in the backend. So you just use your backend knowledge to um, connect it to the database, and this is that's it. It's connected to the database, and now we have. Um, data here we have the fields and we have um, everything ready um, so let's see how it looks like yeah vehicles carbon we already have other train okay these two values are on, on the database so you see it's already printed here but edit and delete they are uh, blank we are gonna add the buttons there we go ahead and add the buttons. Inside the table, we need um, templates for adding uh, buttons. Okay, oh my god, it looks... I hate this. I don't know why this is not... Okay, I add two templates. Not like this, but like this. Uh, control C. Wait. So this one is the closed one, and then we have this one and then we have this one so we have two templates one for delete and one for edit so in the first template we add the functional functions to connect the um, edit button and then the second one we will have the delete button so what we'll have we use is this functionality called the slot this slot is um, really useful when you want to con connect uh, a cell to some sort of um, functionality, so to say. Uh, we add a button and then we uh, just... Uh, some sort of... We say this V slot, connect the cell to this button, like this field that we have edited here, and then just this one is just a variable and now you will see where we will be using it um, for edit we should show it here our edit button is connected to another view so that's why we are using router link to connect to um, connect the button to the another um, view so we say router link, if you don't know what router link is, please Google yourself and um, make sure you understand it because it's really useful um, 
we'll use it all the time so we link this button to what to something and that something is uh, gonna be um okay close this before i forget <laughs> closing um so we give it a name it is transport um I'm too tired and that's my bad deciding to make a video in the evening um, and now inside the parameters so the parameter is the ID of the item that we have like everything will have an ID inside the, the database so you are gonna have this ID I don't know, just call it something so the data is now connected to item so whatever the in the cell will be connected to uh, this specific uh, data item id so item dot id so it will take like in this line it is it rates over the items that we have and in this this part it takes exactly that uh, item id and takes the data and print it so uh, not printed i mean it, it goes like this edit button will be working on exactly this item so that's what um, this line is about uh, and also we uh, put um, like a tag which sort of which type of um, which type of element we want to have inside this cell we want to have like type button um, just like this and then we want to have um, class which color, which uh, font, which size we want the button um, to have. So inside that when we say BTN, um, these buttons are all inside the Bootstrap uh, homepage, um, view Bootstrap homepage, so you can uh, choose between different buttons and different colors and everything. So that's it. Um, so we have these ones, and here we, we can have like whatever we want to put on the button, like a, a label or something. Um, you see, we have the thing, the buttons, color, and uh, of course, if you want to have it some other colors, you just change this this part, sexes, white, uh, black, whatever you wanted. And here it looks cooler to have a uh, font. I already have um, prepared this thing. Go to font awesome. There are so many really awesome fonts um, that you can just copy, like search and then copy the code and then you just put it here. Once you start using it, then you get used to just changing this part and then you will see how it affects. Um, yeah, now we have the green buttons there. So this is for the router link. It's already linked to edit um, transport uh, view. So it's this one, edit transport view. Uh, so if we go here and we click the edit, now it's it takes to the next view. I don't show you this view because it's not part of this video. Video we work uh, we work on just the table. Mm, so yeah, this part is done. We are gonna have this template again inside the uh, delete. So copy the whole thing, not the whole thing, but what's inside this this lot thing is the same um, for delete. So we copy the this lot part and then edit should be delete so this time it's delete and the data will be used again inside the delete part so that we tell the button what to delete so in this one um let me go back yeah edit button was connected to another view but on delete button we don't connect it to another, another view we just simply delete it using a, a, a method um so what we need is just a button a simple button and then um, inside the button uh, we okay sim like this we use font awesome uh, icons and instead of edit we say delete like this and then what we have is a button what does this button so inside this button we say which class or which um, color we want to have so this one will be like button button um, 
like danger because a raid usually deleting is something dangerous so be careful what you're deleting um so the main part is here at click so at click is what you actually like you tell what to do so you say at click and then when they click what happens they delete the button so we need this method called delete um transport um like this so delete transport and then we need to give it a parameter um, like the id or which item you're gonna delete so it's exactly this item that we are iterating over it um yeah that's it what we see here in our um yeah now we have this thing here um uh, but the delete it's not I think I have put it in the wrong place. Uh, why it's not um, inside the button? It it has not. Oh yeah, it's not called delete actually. It's called something else. Uh, we it's called trash uh, alt like this. So if you wanna, if you wonder how I I know that because. Uh, yeah, I have used these buttons a lot now. <laughs> I've memorized everything, but uh, yeah, go ahead here and just type delete. And then you see this this one, and then you just copy. Start using this icon, and then you copy this one. Yeah, that's here you see now we have the buttons, and then we need... Now it has no functionality. We click it and nothing happens because we don't have this method yet. We go down here in the script and we add the method. So under the data, click like um, a comma and then you say methods like this. Uh, yeah, of course, there should be this. Um, why is not let me see what this is uh any processing annex with token expected oh, what do you mean okay, let me see if i have the right oh uh -huh, yeah return oh no okay uh my bad okay v control x it's always make sure to have this um reference thing like it's really useful like this these um is this this color i don't know what they are called but this this extension that uh, helps you a lot of uh, fixing fix this indentation um yeah of course okay inside the method make sure to have these colors to keep track of where to put what so inside the method we create this method called delete transportation uh, transport and then we um, add this item as parameter of course there should be a space and a, oh my god um control uh, yes so indentation thing kills me <clears throat> um sorry so what we say is again using this delete and then uh, I I copy the whole thing from the one which I was working with. So because it's just something about backends, nothing has it has nothing to do with frontend. So it's the method is you just simply let me copy it first, and then we say um, method API. We have API here, yeah. Uh, method api what was wrong oh yeah oh my god what i did is Control z Control z it should be inside this one of course i thought i i had copied everything but i haven't so yeah mm, let's fix all these ones yeah so what we have is we tell the api to delete go to Okay, ignore this part because you will be using the paths that you have for your backend. Uh, in our backend, we have users and they have items like transports connected to the users. So that's why it looks like this. It goes to the to the back backend and finds to the database. Sorry, 
and takes this user ID and then he takes the transports and then delete it using this delete ones. And then this part is just catching the errors and printing the errors as you can see here. It's just the, the reply to whatever we do with it. Go and check it. So we have this thing. I deleted one of them. So we delete again and it's gone. So both of the buttons work. Um, this is it. I think it's everything I had for this video. Uh, make sure to um, click the like button if it was useful. So yeah, that's it. I, uh, I'm going to share... Um, the code for you if you want to but otherwise it's just simple bootstrap so i don't think you need the code um good luck um leave your questions in the comment section and see you in the other video thank you bye bye